has been one of the most dynamic regions and the fastest growing economies in the world. With total primary energy supply growing by more than double from 2017 until 2014. However, the COVID-19 pandemic has brought unprecedented challenges to the global economy, including the energy sector. To help ASEAN in addressing the energy challenges and implement sustainable recovery plans, the 38 ASEAN Ministers on Energy Meeting is launching today these two important documents. The API is a series of guiding policy documents that aims to promote multilateral energy cooperation and integration to attain the goals of the ASEAN economy. APEC Phase 2 2021-2025 launch today will include a new sub-theme of accelerating energy transition and strengthening energy resilience through greater innovation and cooperation. The API consists of the seven program areas. Under the ASEAN Program Program, the multilateral electricity trading will be expanded and grid resilience and modernization enhanced to provide affordable, modern, and resilient electricity supply, as well as accommodate higher shares of renewable energy. The Trust ASEAN Gas Pipeline Program will pursue the development of a common gas market for ASEAN by enhancing natural gas and LNG connectivity and accessibility. The Coal and Clean Coal Technology Program will optimize the role of CCT in the regional transition towards a sustainable and low-carbon economy. Another priority of ASEAN is Energy Efficiency and Conservation Program, which aims to reduce energy intensity by 32% by 2025 based on 2005 levels. To accelerate energy transition, ASEAN will continue its effort to achieve its renewable energy aspirational targets of a 23% share in total primary energy supply while also aiming to achieve 35% share of renewable energy in ASEAN installed power capacity by 2025. Under the Regional Energy Policy and Planning Program, ASEAN will advance energy policy and planning to accelerate the region's energy transition and resilience. And lastly, the Civil and Nuclear Energy Program will promote regional initiatives to build human resource capabilities on nuclear science and technology for power generation. Equally important is the 6th ASEAN Energy Outlook, a study that complements the API and supports the creation of pathways for achieving the regional targets. The development of IO6 consists of 4 scenarios, baseline, AMS target scenario, API target scenario, and achieving the goals of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. With continued growth in economic and population levels, the total primary energy supply in ASEAN is expected to be more than double in 2040 compared to current levels. The energy growth is driven mainly by fossil fuels, projected to account for around 85% of the region's primary energy supply share in 2040. The APEC target scenario provides the measures to reach the regional targets and beyond. This includes upscaling the adoption of renewable energy power plants such as solar and wind, and also adopting cleaner, more efficient technologies such as lighting, air conditioning, transportation, and clean coal power plants. To reach our collective aspirational targets over the next five years, we will need stronger efforts and collaboration among the member states. AEO6 is ASEAN's main source of energy information, analysis, and projections. Download your copy of the APEC Phase 2 and the AEO6 from www.asenenergy.org.